um, with Caden here, you see he anchors down and he, this, I mean, when we talk about like the first thing that I look for with UCLs is obtuse elbow outside 90. I call it hand disconnection because your hand is disconnected away from your body in terms of like your body's already starting to rotate and your hand is just dragging behind. So now if you just think about it simply, right, we talk about positions in which we are stronger and we can leverage better. If we take our hand or take our arm and we go outside of that 90 degrees, right? So if this is 90 and we go outside of that, this is this hand is going to be a lot easier to be pulled down. Now, if we do the opposite and we get that hand inside 90, now we are a lot stronger in this position, right? So like this is way more protective against these ligaments. Now, in this in this obtuse elbow hand disconnection, we are now stretching out our UCL a lot more when we go into shoulder external rotation and we're not able to leverage that hand as much as we potentially can if he gets inside 90. Like I said, it's one of two things. One, first thing that it's probably more likely than not is just a motor pattern issue that we need to clean up in a drill progression setting that we can instill new motor patterns, right? Just instill new movement the way that his body recognizes movement. Or it's we just need to buy him more time. How do we do that? We increase this movement capacity so he doesn't touch down earlier than he should. But who knows? Um, and then, yeah, the direction is 100% uh, a, a, a thing that's that's breaking down. I look at equal opposite in terms of just being biomechanically efficient, right? So when he anchors down here, we look at this angle and we look at the glove side angle. Probably similar in terms of the the, the amount of degrees that we're at. Okay, I would I'm going to go ahead and program a ton of stuff for front side direction because that's a huge piece in terms of getting that throwing arm a lot better and with the pattern we look at that equal opposite effect, right? So as the arm gets pulled through, as he anchors down, the arm gets pulled through, watch DeGrom's glove side now match the angle of which his throwing arm is coming through, okay? So we want that that glove arm, we want that connected. It's like a, like I said, equal opposite. And we see with his glove arm, I look at it just like a lack of front side stability, right? We don't have the stability of this front side to be able to hold through space, right? So now as he comes into his rotation, it kind of just dangles there and it's not really there serving a purpose. Uh, Thank you so much for watching that video. Be sure to check out those videos right there that are related to the video that you just watched. Be subscribe or we are going to arm wrestle. Your analysis, click that right there. You can check out the links in the description, link that will give you direct access to my question platform, which will allow you to ask me a question that I will respond to. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys. See ya.